Hey guys. Hi, hi. All right, I've had a lot of questions on how do you deal with the judgment? How do you deal with the attachment? Well, uh, so that you can get to the fifth dimension. Now, I'm assuming that if you're listening to this, that you want to go to the fifth dimension. That you want to go to a planet that's um, all about peace and magic and you don't have the stressors and the fear that you do here. Okay, well, all that stuff that you don't want to experience, you have to make sure that you're not taking it, trying to take it to the fifth dimension with you, okay? Because that's what makes the fifth dimension a place that you want to go to, is the fact that nobody is doing that there. Which is the reason why we had to get rid of the fear and the worry first. Okay, now you're in the attachment, judgment, fourth dimension, moving into the fifth dimension. Well, in fifth dimension, everybody's responsible for their own their own creationary power. So, and they're expected to be. And, and it wouldn't even occur to anyone there to be anything but that. Okay? So, when you are attached to something, anything, no matter what it is, you are in that moment either consciously or subconsciously saying, I can't do this on my own. I need fill in the blanks. I need the love of my life. I need a family. I need a career. I need X amount of money. I need a supportive community. I need um, a religious sect. I need fill in the blanks. Okay? In the fifth dimension, there is no fill in the blanks. There is an understanding, an innate understanding that you're connected to the whole you are a creator God and you are all powerful. You don't need anything else. Therefore, being attached to something else doesn't make any sense. So in the process of getting to fifth dimension, you have to believe that first. You have to, uh, you know, people talk about believing that they are creator gods and um, believing that in the oneness, but they don't act like it. Uh, they don't day to day and what they say and what they do it does not show that at all so if you truly believe that we are all one then you've got to assume that everything else around you is a part of the one and as a one we don't do anything wrong we don't do anything that we would ever not do on purpose and know exactly what we are doing as a one so in that knowingness, judgment goes away, right? If you really believe that we are all one, then you can't say we are all one except for the serial killer. We are all one except for the guy that just cut you off. We are all one except for the ex that cheated on you. You see? We are all one, period. End of story. We are all one. And if you believe that you're a creator God, part of the one, you have to believe also that everyone, everything else is creator gods and they know what they're doing too. And I'm betting that probably if somebody were to look at any of your lives from a normal perspective of 3D, 4D, uh, most people, if they could see it all, would probably have a lot to say judging you on what you should or shouldn't have done, correct? But in the long run, you can look back and you probably can see the advantages of even the bad stuff. And eventually, down the road, you'll be able to look back at all of your life and understand what you would consider bad moves in the long run were advantageous for you or someone around you. And that's how it needs to be. That's how your thinking needs to be on the way to 5D. Okay, that's how you get rid of judgment, is to really not just mouth the words that we are all one, not just mouth the words that you know you're a creator God, you have to really believe it. And in that believing, good and bad goes away, fades very, very much away, and respect to the other beings around you, um, it comes to the fore. And respect of those other beings around you replaces judgment. Okay, that's how it's done. It replaces judgment. And being attached to things is replaced to being attached to yourself 
through your high heart and through source, through all that is. Instead of picking and choosing this or that, the fill in the blanks mode, instead of that, you're attached to everything. And you are attached to everything, whether or not you remember it or not. But instead of it being honed down to just a few things, or one thing, or three things, or whatever, when you're attached to all that is, there's a natural flow of energy in that. Whenever you take it aside, you go, hey, I'm a part of all this. Anything and everything I do, whether I understand it or not, is exactly the way it's meant to be because there's no such thing as time and space. When you really get into the flow of that, number one, uh, you have a lot more free time. You'd be surprised uh, now that everybody that's listening to me has gotten rid of all the, the anger and fear and worry. Now that you're done with all that and you should have oh a good 20% of your day is freed up now because you don't do that anymore now if you get into the flow of things really believe and give respect to everything around you people places things events that they know what they're doing in their gods as well so that you're not analyzing and judging every single other person place or thing and events now you've got time all this additional time, oh good, another 20%, that you, now you're up to 40% of your time that you can use as a creator God to go with the flow. Where you can guide what you're doing, stop worrying about what everybody else is doing, and spend your time worrying about what you're doing. Well, not worry, because we got rid of that one. But guiding in a positive way, going with the flow. And remember, you do have a higher self, a game plan that you came here with. So you need to allow for a flow that includes that, that you may not understand. So if you start to go one direction and all of a sudden there's all kinds of walls in front of you, things are not going right, the key to that is if things are not going right on a, on a path, that probably means that you are supposed to be going around a different direction. So try to go where it's least resistive. And that's another thing that they tell you that you need to overcome and the best things in life are, are things that you struggle to obtain. And I'm here to tell you that is not true. That when you flow uh, where you follow and you flow where you're feeling good and it's easy, that's a sign that you are following your plan, you're following your major plan. Because your major plan, if you flow with it, is very, very easy. It's just that most of the time, including me, we get caught up in what we're supposed to be doing, and that tends to clash with what we were going to do whenever we came here, and there's resistance and problems. If it's a major thing um, there that you've decided to do, if you've got a major thing you came to do, and you're fighting against it, uh, you will continue to try to get yourself to do it over and over again. If you're going the wrong direction, if you're turning right and it was a major thing for you to be over there to the left, you will keep making yourself go to the left, go to the left. You'll keep blocking that right move over and over again and you'll ramp it up. If the harder you try to go right, uh, you'll have first, you'll have a... Um, a stream that's in front of you to block your way so you turn left and you'll turn left and then if you go try to turn right again the next thing it'll be a creek then a river then an ocean it you'll keep putting that in your way to get you to veer back to the left if it's a major thing that you were supposed to do okay all right so conceptually back to the beginning again You've already gotten rid of the fear and the worry, despair. All that's gone because we left 3D behind, now you're in 4D. You've got to get rid of the judgment and attachment. So judgment, you get rid of that by respecting every person, place, thing, and event around you as being a part of the whole, creator gods in their own right, and it's none of your business, right? So you replace attachment with respect. Respect. That's what you're going to do. No more attachment, only respect. And you don't need attachment, right? You don't need attachment because you're a creator God. And why would a God need to be attached to anything? 
you don't need to. And every time you attach to something, anything, doesn't matter what it is, you are vampirically drawing energy from it. It's not a good thing to do. So, and that's with anything that I listed, anything you're attached to from uh, having to go get your nails done to the country that you live in to uh, the career that you have, all of that, whenever you have that in your mindset, that, you, that you're attached to those things, that you can't give them up, that you need them. Uh, if you need those things in order to be whole and complete and feel like you're a worthy person, if you're doing that, you're vampirically pulling energy from that outside source. And as I've told you before in other videos, the goal is to pull from within. That high heart, that spark that is connected directly to source, which is connected to all of us. Everything. And that is, from that you can get anything. Because you merge with the all that is, and then there's the power. Instead of stealing from something else that has limited understanding of its power, just stealing, and that's what humans have done for a very long time, is they've stolen from outside themselves because of the amnesia, not knowing who they really are. And that's where the true lack is. It's not that there's a shortage of food on this planet at all. There's plenty. But there's a shortage of energy being pulled back and forth from each other. And that pulling of something else or someone else or an event, that pulling away from that energy, there is a limited in that. If a person only believes they have X amount of energy, that's all they can feel. They're pulling in from source a tiny little, little bit of light and you come up there and you say hi, hello, shake their hand and you pull from that tiny bit of light. They feel it and there's a pushback. There's, no, 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 this is all I've got. Don't take it from me. That's where the lack comes from, that feeling of lack. It's because people don't know that they've got an endless, endless supply of energy, including the energy that you need to run this skin suit, so you don't even need food and water. Uh, all you got to do is learn how to pull it from the other side, and that's that energy, because that's all food and water is, is energy. So you can go beyond food and water, get it directly from source, and then that lack is gone. But that pulling back and forth from something else is where, where a lot of uh, hard feelings and wars come from. So if you want to go to 5D, in 5D you don't be do, you don't do that. You know, there is no uh, taking from anybody else's energy at all. Uh, if anything in the fifth dimension, what we do is we kind of merge, or there's a a flow of energy, but it's not an exchange. Like I've heard people say, well, um, you know, like New Agers will charge X amount of money in order to what they give you, you pay them, and there's an and there's an exchange of energy. Uh, that exchange of energy is here in the fifth dimension it's more emerging like you are a part of the all that is they're a part of the all that is and you decide to come together and you share the energy in a moment um, and but you don't exchange it really it, it's really you you come together in a specific part of the all that is and you merge that so that you can see each other's energy at the same time. There's really no exchange of energy. Because you've got to understand that in uh, outside of this game, uh, there is no exchange of anything because exchange is a time-space phenomenon. So it's an illusion. There's no exchange really of anything because nothing goes anywhere because that's a part of the illusion of time-space. Exchange exchange is exactly what it says something leaves and something comes back that's time space and that's illusionary there is no such thing as that so in the fifth dimension there's not an exchange there's a, a merging there's a remembering that you can come together in a time in a moment in a now moment of time space and and share share that's a good word for it all right, let's end this one. Hopefully that will give you some good information on how to move forward. Uh, yeah, thank you for watching my videos. Thank you, everybody, for your support. Uh, I really, really, really appreciate it. Uh, be sure and give me a thumbs up and comment below. 
Uh, love you bunches and bunches, huge hugs, and I'll see you later. Bye now.